see how we got 1200 yeah. you know how to use this at all yeah um, basics though yeah, you know so, not so when you come let's see let's go back back all right you got this right here the one that says transponder the transponder and then I had you have to turn it on see so now, now it comes on see if I turn it on standby see it goes away on the test set oh okay see if I boom they're either on or see that's the transponder on this is giving it altitude but she doesn't you know so if I go over here I have altitude right um, so I, I do that and then remember I was telling you, you have to test all those codes mm -hmm. so if you hit so if you hit uh, if you hit code it bring up numbers across the bottom and then you can just put them in see all zeros all ones and this is how you're just testing the, the transponders putting out what it says it's putting out gotcha all threes you just go through all the numbers no big deal pretty simple stuff if you get on one get off the 777 pretty quick because you know, i just but you have to test it so all right so now i have six five four three right if I go here again, there's a VFR button, and it should just jump, jumps to 1200, okay? All right, so there, an ident, so the ident light comes on. Yep. When you just wait 20 seconds or so, you, you know. And you can do this, remember I was telling you, you go, you just make sure that it's the same for the interrogation. It's about the same each way. Same thing for framing. See, it's about about that's about minus three. That's about plus three. And then you have signal strength, which should be 72 or above. There's 73, so it's looking. See, it just dropped out at like 75, 76. Now about the interrogation and the framing. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean when, when you say they have to be the same? All right. See here. See how this is a zero in the middle, yes. and then it just says minus four plus four. Mm -hmm. So watch. They got to be close. You can't, or you don't want to see like here it starts blinking and then here it starts blinking. You know what I mean? That way. Right. You want it to be, see right there, it's starting to kind of blink at minus yeah. four, minus five. Same thing here, plus four, plus five. So the same each way. The gotcha. same minus is positive, plus, positive and a negative. And the same with the same framing. Same with the framing. Okay. And if you're getting it where this ain't doing it until way down here, but this one does it right here, then something's wrong with the framing or the interrogation of the transponder. Gotcha. And then your signal strength here is fine. I mean, this was actually pretty good. Boom. And then power, we need to back. See how high that is? That'll burn the test set up. So we got to back back that away some. But I'm just going to test it real quick because we don't need this test set once we get this part done. Because you can watch the altitude in here. So see how it's up there and then it's starting to fall right there? Yeah. And it's right about minus one. That's fine. All right, that's good. Uh, we've already tested the code. We look there. We have altitude, which is minus minus 100 foot. That's what we have. So we've tested everything on the transponder. It looks fine. We're going to shut it, shut that off. I don't need it. I don't need this test set anymore. The reason why um, you can on it, like say, if we were doing an iPhone on that, it doesn't have a display of what the altitude is. Right. But this does, mm -hmm. so I don't need to sit here and watch it all run up on the. Remember when I go to this altitude and it was minus 100? Yeah. As I run this up on a one like that, I gotta watch it in here to see what the encoder's putting out. But on this, I can see it right on the screen. I don't have to see it on here. Okay. Yeah, because I saw that it's putting out at minus 100, which is what it was on the test on that screen. So I don't need to watch it on both things. 